Hello, and welcome to The Unbidden Guest, a uh, 32 fan mission by Milan. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing video, so let's read it out. Lay down thy hammer, friend, lay down thy all. Thy yesteryear trappings are splintered and old. Now rise up thy mace and sword thusly brandish. The builder fuels those who unite against malice. From the new scripture of the master builder. Sometimes living in the city is more trouble than it's worth. There's a new sheriff in town, and he's waging his own personal war against crime. Dodging the law is part of the game, but Sheriff Gorman Truitt's changed the rules. His men are on the hunt for suspicious individuals, and they are not asking questions. It was only by a hair's breadth that I escaped the ambush they set for me. This has left me without my usual contacts or a permanent address. Fortunately, with so many of the smaller wards empty after the recent calamities, there are vast areas to hide in, as long as you don't venture into districts under guard too often. Sheriff Truett has enlisted the aid of a separatist sect of the Hammers called Mechanists, every bit as fanatical as the Hammerites and twice as industrious. They've been supplying the Sheriff with some really nasty contraptions, mechanical eyes that seek out anyone his spies consider a threat to the safety of the city. Word has it that there are also plans for a new creation, so deadly it'll bring every almost thief in the city to his knees. Fortunately, I've found some unlikely allies in these dark times. The Hammerites, more bitter about the schism in their ranks than the few small sins I've committed in the eyes of the Builder. And as their high priest outlined to me in the old quarter of all places, we have certain interests in common. Tonight the mechanists are throwing a posh banquet for the city nobility in their seminary to win supporters and hold a demonstration of their most recent invention, a beast of iron, invincible and untiring. If they can get these things into production, I might as well find a new line of work. I'm going to cross their plans by sabotaging the display. The hammerites are supplying me with explosive devices I must plant in each metallic horror I come across. The streets are pretty hot these days, so I'll take to the rooftops and approach the seminary from above. If I cut through a building or two, I won't win any popularity contest, but then they don't call it the Thieves' Highway for nothing. Travelling light is a necessity, since the districts in the area are full of the city's finest and well protected by security devices. I must trust the Hammers to, to deliver a few useful tools as they've promised. A power station south of the seminary is the supposed location of the cache. I'll start in an old bell tower. One of the few friends I can still depend on will let me sleep in his attic for the evening. Afterwards, it'll be time to make myself useful. With the cream of the city in attendance at the Mechanist Seminary and the wealthy households in the surrounding area ripe for picking, I will at last be like a kid in a candy store. An unknown to all but me and a trusted confidant. There may be yet more. The Mechanists are said to have in their keeping an old book studded with gemstones and gold, apparently an ancient hammer text of some value. If I have the chance, I'll make this book mine, and my new friends need never know. No point in waiting. It's time to begin. So uh, that um, briefing text should sound familiar uh, if you've ever played the Thief 2 alpha demo, which is, um, in fact, some of that text I think is word for word the same. Not all of it, it's, it's changed. This mission is inspired by that demo. I don't know for sure if uh, the demo geometry... No, the Thief 2 alpha demo was like an early version of the mission that became life of the party, but polished up with a piece of story and setting to make it um, stand alone rather than slot into the uh, story. I don't know if any of the geometry of that mission is actually incorporated in this or whether it's just pure inspiration, but um, I don't know, another rooftop crawl sounds like a fun thing to do. Oh. That's weird, it gets shorter on expert. Um, Alright, there's the same, same number of objectives on hard and expert. Sabotage the iron machines in the Mechanist Seminary with the explosives the hammers have made for you. Between the Mechanist Seminary and the houses of this district, tonight should be a pretty good haul. Grab 1600 worth of loot. The Mechanists are rumoured to have a valuable old hammerite book in their seminary. See if the information is true. Optional. Don't draw undue attention to yourself tonight by triggering any alarms. Oh. Uh, you're a thief, not a murderer. Don't kill any servants or nobility. Once your other objectives have been completed, return to your starting point. Uh, right. I think I just already ticked off. It's like, uh, you will, I mean, I've, I've done that. Like, you know, what happens now if I set off an alarm? You don't have an eraser. You can't erase that, right? Right? Um, 2200 loot on expert, which is apparently, uh, much closer to the total amount, I think. It says significantly harder to avoid detection and stuff like that. I, I don't know. 
Don't kill any servants on ability. Interestingly, there's not a don't kill anyone objective on expert, as is traditional for Thief. It's uh, just the same one on all three difficulties. Okay. Well, I'll stick with hard. I'll go with my usual. Though, uh, if I end up triggering too many alarms, maybe I'll have to restart on normal. I'll just have to see. Uh, and I have a shop where I can't buy anything. That's unusual, I think. Um, but, um, yeah, let's just jump in. Well, it is a bell tower. It's not the same bell tower as uh, the unwelcome guest. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. But it is the same line. Garrett, you old cynic. It's just the friend whose attic I was staying in. Oh, there's, there's windows that are openable. It opens very slowly. Mate, uh, okay, you left me something to drink, but uh, terrible, terrible value, terrible order. And a bed. And you didn't like to hide anything up here, did you? So that would be silly. I uh, can't even, can't even fit. I'm going to assume the answer is no. I mean, I would, but then I'm not. I don't. I don't invite Garrett round to my place and expect him not to take everything in that's not nailed down. So if I was, I was letting Garrett use my place, I would. Um, not merely hide my valuables on the rafters. I would make sure they weren't in the place at all. I wonder if I could jump across to there. So first first impression is yes, that's a completely new geometry. None of this looks at all like um, the unwelcome guest. So, good. Can I make that jump? Probably not. Certainly not if I don't actually jump. Yeah. Could strafe jump it, but maybe there's a better way. What's this? Can't pick those locks. Do we have a map? That's actually a useful question to know. See, we're starting in the south. We don't have a map. Well, I am very disappointed. Oh, it's not a door. Dang. When is a door not a door? When uh, it's in a thief mission. It just doesn't actually sound like it's a joke. It isn't really a joke. So that bell tower is um, going to be remarkably uh, useless. Totally muffled by all the surrounding um, buildings and the walls right around it. Bell tower needs to be high and unobstructed. Well, maybe the bell tower is older and everything else is built later. Oh, I see. Could have got up there. Do you see an open window or a passage? Any window here? Convenient access point, that's for sure. Almost like this building was was uh, designed for thieves. All right, another door that's not a door. I'm going to be very frustrated in this mission. I can see it already. All right, that's it in this house. 
So I don't have any idea, because I don't have a map, I actually have no idea where I'm supposed to be going, where this mechanist seminary is. I guess I just wander at random until I find it. I mean, uh, it doesn't say here, did it say in the north in the briefing? I don't remember. So the uh, hardest thing about reading out text is that um, if I'm reading it aloud, I'm focusing on how I'm saying it, not uh, what it actually says. Hello. There's a, uh, it looks like a corpse down there. Um, or two. What's the story about there? That's um, ominous. Also, how do I get there? I mean, I could drop down to this balcony, but then I don't think I'd have a way back up. Oh wait, oh, this building. Yeah, that's just here, okay. That's my way back up. This one is a door. This must be the power station where the uh, cash has been, has been left for me, right? Hopefully. Um, uh, it's not in the objectives, it was only in the uh, text. Hello. What? That's a lockbox? That's not even a... A door is not a door, a lockbox is not, that's not a lockbox. That's, I think that's a crime. Garrett. So it's, it's getting stuck in tiny, tiny, tiny cramped places. Now oh, that's locked. I'm sure the key I've got is the one that's for that door, but let's just see where this takes us. Ah, oh. okay, so that's how we get here. Cool. Oh, I was gonna drop the key, but I think I'll need it down below. One explosive charge. Oh no. Three different explosive charges, they're not stacking for some reason. Alright, what do we got? Instructions. No, don't open the door, read the thing. Garrett, here are thine tools for this night's work, fashioned with diligence and imbued with the builder's might against the deviltry of those apostates. Carry thou these with the utmost care, for within is enough force to kill or maim the strongest man. Garrett, thou possess much cunning and treachery. So thou can doubtless gain the fortress of the apostates. Once thou art within, seek thou their workshop and place one device within each iron machine therein, so that they will surely rupture and be rendered useless when they are operated. A faithful brother who is working among the apostates has spied three of the unholy abominations, doubtless brought to garner favour and funding from the sinful in heart. More of the useful contraptions fashioned by our smiths are also here. What a good brother could bring under the gaze of the seeking eyes the apostate Rodolphus has constructed for the heretical Sheriff Truat. Take also the good sword here, as thou art said to wield it with good skill and a land. Yeah, who told you that? May the hammer fall upon the unrighteous, Ignatius Makanda, smith in exile. And a couple of uh, tetrahedrons for some reason. No, there's a pyramid. Not tetrahedrons. See, I should know, uh, having just played High Set Hobbit's High Rise Hotel, I should know my tetrahedron from my... Uh, the decahedron, right? Yeah, it's not true at all, though. Let's try that key here. Oh, it's not up here. What the hell? Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's not a good place for me to hang out, is it? Let's just put the key back, since I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. And, um... Head back out, shall we? So what is going on down here? Oh. Arrows. 
Did these two guards just have a fight and kill each other? I mean, they're different uniforms. This is wearing purple, this guy's wearing red. Uh, I wonder if they were arguing about uh, Master Willie and Lady Van Vernon. This wouldn't be the first time. You don't have a key on you, do you, mate? Apparently not. Always opening doors into your own face. Hello, someone stuck a jeweled dagger under the bed and some uh, shinies on the windowsill. Most esteemed lady, on behalf of the Order of Mechanists, let me extend our invitation to you for a festive evening and following demonstration of the most marvellous devices. It has long been our wish that the best of this city know more about our work and goals. While we have continually sought to improve the lot of good and honest citizens, most recently by the ingenious seeking eyes our good brother Rudolphus has supplied to Sheriff Pruitt, it cannot be denied that there are still many who judge us by the measure of our hoary forebears, the Hammerites. Far be it from the truth. While the order, old order, fallen to age and decrepitude, exhibited obduracy in face of progress and a moral inflexibility beyond a judicious measure, we recognise the virtues of a pragmatic approach. Certainly we would be foolish to reject those who move and shake this great city just because of some righteous flummery. Instead, we wish to discuss in all earnestness how the order can be of help to you and your household. This and other matters, and we will not be evasive, this can perhaps extend to your most valued contribution to our cause, are to be discussed at our seminary on the next eve. A repast at the Goldsmith's Tavern precedes the next day's demonstration, where our most recent work, an astounding device that will protect your valuables from the hand of the thief, shall be unveiled before the city's finest. Thereafter, a most exquisite prize, a bottle of Biddleybon Cruise 78, is to be auctioned, with all proceeds going towards the invention of yet more wondrous works. To our privileged guests, beds will be supplied at the seminary if you so request, and rest assured that by no means do we cling to the doctrinaire austerity of our predecessors. Our eyes are on the future, and your service. On behalf of Grandmaster Rudolphus, General of the Order, Master Tixpring. Alright, what do we got here? Bottle. More bottles. Someone's, uh, oh, hello. A letter from Lord Bafford. Tearest Lady Van Vernon, allow me the impudence of introducing myself. I am a man of wealth and distinction, a lover of all beautiful things. You are, if I may say so myself, a rare flower in this wretched city. Worry not that your marriage with Master Willie has gone sour. Maybe you have lost a husband, but be assured that you have gained a steadfast admirer. It is my considered opinion that you need a real man, someone who doesn't shirk from trials and even a bit of melee now and then, not a pitiful weakling who couldn't even handle a bull barrack. Maybe we should meet someplace to discuss further particulars. Might I suggest a cosy little tavern near Lampfire Hills, the Weeping Widow? I hear they serve a most excellent roast and the best wines in town. It is bound to be absolutely perfect at this time of year. Yours ardently, Lord Bafford. Ah, uh, marriage to Master Willie has gone sour. Okay, that's a nice bit of... Uh, Riffing on the old story. Uh, it uh, certainly does explain the dead guards, and um, it's probably the reason why this connecting door has been bricked up. That uh, it's two halves of what was formerly one estate. Although, judging by the size and location of it in the city, you'd say they've uh, both Lady Van Vernon and Master Willie have fallen on harder times than. Uh, than usual. This one I can't pick, right? Oh, there is a balcony up there. But I don't see, oh, hang on. Is that, is that wooden sill? That is a wooden sill, I believe. Let's try, yeah. Uh, try ropes. Oh, it's not a balcony. But the rope is still a good plan here. Ah, oh, Master Willie was getting into his astronomy, was he? Or perhaps he was using that to still keep his eye on uh, 
Lady Van Vernon. So that's the same door. Guess I need to hope there's a key in here or uh, Burrick slain in the death mire by Master Willie Esquire. Crayman slain in the caverns of Slay by Master Willie Esquire. You really believe if you really want me to believe you into the caverns of Slay to say something. Cobra slain in the vast mit mountains by Master Willie Esquire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You purchase them all down at the local. Uh, I was going to say Haberdasher. So Haberdasher isn't the person who uh, stuffs and mounts animals. What is the word I'm thinking of? I don't know. Well, he's gone out for the night. Left uh, some money on his bookshelf. No, nothing interesting to read. Alright, there's his key. Let's... Uh, Use and dispose of that. Actually, you know, I should put it back on his desk, make him think he forgot to lock his front door, right? And forgot to leave his money behind. Uh, valued friend. Right, so the same, exact same message, they just rewrite the introduction. That's fine. What's this one? Invoice. My lord, will you hear with the bill of your purchases for three trophies, Perrick, Cobra, Cray, and accompanying plates engraved per your requests. Please do send reimbursements by courier to our officers. Well, I was spot on. Uh, <laughs> he did not slay them, he bought them. Um, trophy, Perrick, Trophy, Cobra, 200 gold. Trophy, Cray, 230 gold. Brass plates, engraving, 90 gold. Total, 595. Further on, might we suggest other items of a hunting theme as chosen by customers who have purchased articles similar to yours? A beautifully engraved marsh bullhorn, a decorated yew composite bow with brass and silver inlays, or a golden cup with rearing burrock and youngs. Regarding your inquiry, Bandersnatch is presently not in snock, but a stock, but you will be informed forthwith if a specimen becomes available. Respectfully, Reginald Casters, Amazonian Importing Company. Oh, he also has a valuable letter opener. And what's this one? An almost illegible message. Good Master Willie, your instructions. I follow the treacherous woman, diligent, meet several men. Foremost a young knight, but see others. One, two, every day. Complain of you, guard, see man who is downwind. Say, beat to death if insult her more from under window. Oaks. Uh... Right. I, uh... He is paying somebody to spy on Lady Van Vernon. Um, and more than that, I don't really comprehend the message. Hello. Look, it's a functioning... It's a functioning mirror. It's Garrett. And it's just this room. I mean, it's... Uh, it's unusual. It's a nice touch. Uh, slightly pointless, but a uh, nice touch all the same. I guess I'm guessing it's just. Uh, oh yeah, look. The Garrett model is just sitting there. It's not actually a functioning mirror. It's there to just to surprise me. So it's just another copy of the room that's reversed with the Garrett model sitting in there, but that's still barely noticeable unless you walk right up to it, that it's even functioning. All right, not the first functioning mirror I've seen in uh, Thief Missions, or semi-functional mirror, let's say. Oops. I thought I could make that jump. Why couldn't I make that jump? Yeah, I'm not planning to go down to the streets, and unfortunately this isn't killing me when I hit the streets, so I'm, there we go. So I am reloading, kind of when I don't need to. Oh, there is, there's making a security down there, for some reason. Just to keep me uh, on my toes.
All right. Onward. Um, I've seen this in a bunch of missions when there's two doors in the one spot and my understanding is normally that happens when there's uh, um, like I've only ever seen that happening in Dromid when what, there's multiple doors being placed like one locked one not and it's just set to kill one or the other based on Difficulty level. I don't know why some older missions are doing that. In New Dark. Hello. Golden Hammer. Alright. Um, apparently, uh, Hammerite Novices are not allowed in there, but I don't know what else it's supposed to indicate. Oh shit. Is that somebody, uh... Yeah, it is. It's the same archer, actually. God, he's, uh... Going to be annoying. He might, uh, find a broadhead in his head if he's not careful. Alright, which way am I going? I've, uh... Going around in circles here. I mean, that is a way forward. Maybe that's the only way forward. Oh, he does move. I guess he's... I guess he's searching for me. Yeah, I mean, it would. That's the problem. I'm not keen to actually run the experiment. Hello. Oh, this must release telescope. Okay. So how am I going to progress from here? I couldn't quite make that jump. Yeah. And if I go downstairs in this palace and I get to that ledge where he is ready to get me. I am actually slightly at a loss as to how to proceed here. Poor guy. Uh, there isn't another way out here, is there? This is just, just this window. No, I mean, that jump that I said I could almost make, maybe that is the only way forward? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can make it, okay. Even without a strafe jump, but it's a difficult one. Only when I jump right at the edge, which I'm not very good at doing generally, and this looks like it might kill me. Like so. I don't know, but where do you, where are you? I'm not sure I want to be, uh... Come to Papa now. No, I don't want to. Is there anything up there for me? What can I do about this fella? He's gone now. Yeah, I can test out my explosives on him. You can't hide forever. No, they don't explode, do they? Where is it? Don't think you can hide for long. <laughs> well, mm hmm. I didn't kill him. I did waste a broadhead on him. But I don't suppose that matters. Everybody else around is all riled up. I guess he was yelling too much. I don't even have any loot for me. So that may have been a bad decision, in fact, because uh, I don't know if I've got anywhere to go from here. I guess I can come out here. 
and circle around again. Yeah, all right. Circle around. At least that's one, one nuisance. It will no longer be a nuisance. And let's try this jump again. And fail at it again. And try it again. And succeed this time, good. Oh, I made both of them. All right. There's a pipe I can walk across there. Oops, I thought I saw a ledge and I didn't. The window is what I need. No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. Who are you talking to, Garrett? There's no one here. Unless you're talking to the paintings, which would be very weird, but you know, I guess when you're a thief and you spend most of your time alone, uh, or you're a thief player who spends most of the time alone, you end up talking to yourself a lot. I'll happily take the fruit. What have we got? Society program. Summons of the circle. The Circle of Roses shall convene the subsequent eve in Lady Louisa's salon to discuss forthcoming issues pertinent to our society from a neo dionysian perspective. The clandestine character of the gathering is to be preserved in accordance with the covenant expected to be in attendance. Lady Atisima Shimonov, Rose of the First Order. Lady Louisa de Perrin, Rose of the First Order. Lady Fandessa Alasri, Rose of the Second Order. Lady Marcella Evendroyd, Rose of the Second Order. The following articles are being proposed for the agenda. 1. Vote on admitting Lady Alicia Van Vernon to the Circle, Third Order. Interlocution on behalf of the candidate by the sponsor, Lady Marcella Evendroyd. 2. The Dianic Virtues in Nature Worship. Evidence from Trix Tablets, Lady Artisma Shimonov. 3. The Mechanists, Further Decay of the Hammerite Order or Resurgent Threat, Lady Artisma Shepanov and Lady Louisa de Perrin. 4. New Aesthetics Among Dayport Youth, Thief Chic and Current Fashion, Lady Marcella Eventroit. 5. Necromantic Practices in the City, Connections with the Uttermost South, Lady Fandessa Al Asri. 6. Society Finances and Forthcoming Expenses, Lady Louisa de Perrin. Any new articles are to be submitted by the fourth toll to one of the first order, unless it bears inordinate urgency. In shadow and light, Lady Louisa de Perrin, Rose of the First Order. Is that an actual window? That is an actual window. And what can, where can I go from here? Whoops! I mean, that's not... <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. Oh, bollocks. All right, well, let's just let's just carefully no steal everything. Yeah, yeah, Garrett. Just passing through. Carefully steal everything again, and uh, yeah, with that. Right, let's. I could go continue going south. So there's a pipe up there. There's the window there, and there's this ledge here. Three different ways to keep going south. No, Garrett, don't. Be careful. What have we got here? East Gate Key. Report to Master Rudolphus. Master Rudolphus, I must report with the most disconcerting news, and only hope it will not interfere with the agenda for this evening. The Book of Elsewhere, that blackest folio of pagan wizardry in which the Old Order foolishly bound and gilt sheathings in the mark of the hammer so that its magics would remain in manifest, has been stolen. Brother Lannard had recovered it from the leaden vaults and was busy prying the gems from its frame to gain our fraternity much-needed wealth when he was called away to reprimand a wayward initiate and administer just castigation. As he was returning to his toils, did he spy a black form at the window, clinging to the bars, misshapen paw reaching for the folio. Then did the intruder utter an unholy laugh and, snatching the work, vaulted to the wall walk and fled northwards. It is my suggestion that a company of strong brothers be sent to the sealed quarter on the early morrow, and for a watchman, for a watchman saw it bound across a flat roof into the eastern gate with preternatural celerity. Clearly, the work of the adversary from beyond his unmaking. Furthermore, I recommend that all valuables be stored in your lockbox from now on. There is little else to report other than minor matters. I must bring to your attention that the chest plate on one of the iron machines is stuck, and we will have to fetch a sturdy chisel to break it free after the morning's display. Maybe the diamond cutter Skynes could be of help although he has not been friendly with us before. There needs be also a search for your spare workshop key. If it fell from your window, then it could have been snatched up by someone in the neighbourhood. 
This also will be arranged once we are free of our present chores. The bill will be with you, Brother Tickspring. Did you drop a key down there? Well, I mean, I can't see a key, but... Uh, I also can't see very much at all down there because it's very dark. Alright, I will actually uh, hang on to that, I think. Where's that key? East Gate key. Is that the East Gate of the Seminary or the East Gate of the City? Okay, this must be the Seminary already because I see mechanists. But well, there's bars on this window, so I'm not getting in there. Uh, right, to see if the information is true. Well,. According to this, the information was true, but no longer is. So one thing appears to be the case, that uh, in this mission, unlike Life of the Party and the Unwelcome Guest, I can actually um, get down to street level, and perhaps should. Perhaps, perhaps I even need to. Right, yes, mechanist gears, that must be there. Seminary. And that's the pipes. Is that a door I could have investigated? Hmm. Is that the east gate? Indeed it is, alright. Gate-lifting machinery, all present and correct. Seems seems like it should be functional. What have we here? <laughs> no, Garrett. Yeah, these tiny thin edges are just annoying as hell. Especially when trying to jump off them. All right. What would this game be without quick save? And nobody knows. It would definitely be uh, more of a struggle. This is a uh, odd seeming place. Certainly not in the best of uh, condition. Sealed off with an iron bar. Hmm. Oh, is this a sealed quarter where the uh, the black shape went with the book? Interesting. What is this place? Whose is this place? Not the keepers, surely. Hmm. That soup smells good. Well, I must say it looks it looks kind of keeperish. They're uh, not sparing their uh, lock and key symbolism. What was that ladder? Ah. Doesn't go quite far enough to hit the ground, so you get stuck in it. Good, good. Valiant in there. Book, worm, a worm eaten book. Oh. Can't read it, I can pick it up. Must must be for something. I'll read this one. It's a moldy book. Okay, no, maybe these are just various books. A rotten book. You know what? I feel like. Uh, I feel like uh, this might be where the, the valuable book we were trying to find went, but uh, all we've got left are the bad ones. I'm trying to climb over this, and I can't, but there doesn't seem to be anything behind it. Well, oh, hello. A dusty, dusty notes. I can read that one. On the sorceress books. Considering portfolios recovered from pagan warlocks or their libraries, it is useful to remember that they may have lain the triglyph on their works. Opening glyph-laden volumes should never be attempted, lest the acolytes succumb to the malevolent curses or other traps the scribing may hold. Instead, let the spell be dispersed first with great care. 
The acolytes should never touch the book directly. Only the tracings of the glyph itself, which must be broken with one firm sideways stroke of the fingernail. Thereafter, it is safe to handle the items. But beware lest more dangers are contained within. If no acolyte of sufficient experience is present to handle the glyphs, it is best to place a cloth sack over the entire volume, again without the mirror's touch. Thus can the safety of the seekers be assured. Well, I don't know if I need your dusty notes, but... Um, what is what is the deal with these other books, though? worm eaten book. I mean, they're just acting like junk objects, but they're sitting in my actual inventory. The Rotten Book. The Moldy Book. Hmm. Hmm. Anything behind that? Probably not. Well, uh, this is not, then, a very useful place. Yeah, whatever. That'll do. Let the keepers keep their secrets. Why must I burn the books, huh? In. Well, it doesn't seem to matter. There we are. Nice magical tower of magical books. It's, uh, that's excellent, Garrett. That'll keep the keepers wondering. They'll think the books themselves have uh, become sorceress. Although knowing them, they'll probably just uh, have been uh, have been watching the whole time. And have seen me go in and just be like shaking their heads and muttering about, you know, Garrett and his... Uh, What's all this? Oh, it's just carrot again. Ooh. Steps that are too big. They can't walk up properly. Oh. I don't understand why people made ever made one unit high steps. It's like the builder's notes that came with Drummond, that uh, the building guide clearly tells you make them 0.75 units high. And no higher. What? Oh. oh, okay. Fine, it was not deadly. It, uh, I didn't actually see it, and I saw something up there I want to get. But uh, a fall that is not deadly is is quite alright. Besides, I should close the door behind me. See? That's why I should close the door behind me. <clears throat> oh, that time it hurt. So, yeah, that's spectral ball. So this is the other balcony. Takes us deeper into this uh, sealed district in search of this book, I suppose. Oh, there's a nice uh, detail I like. There's a big pile of ash. I've actually gone and put in some brushwork. Very nice. Doors that are not doors. Oh, is that is that supposed to be a ledge I can walk around? That is very, very, very narrow. I mean, it's literally, I'm sitting on it, it's like Garrett's balancing on his belly on here. So the feet are not on it, it's the uh, the body uh, sphere that's resting on the edge of it. Very strange. This looks dangerous. Maybe it's just there to... Uh, Scare people. Oh. Uh. Well, I see a ring there. There's something that's gold. You know, two rings. 
Dancing Bones. Why would Dancing Bones ever, mat ever be a problem? Oh, I need, I'm gonna need to put a, a little further over. Do you wonder how I'm gonna get these ropes back? At least it's a problem for another time. Hmm. Well, or I do that and it all goes badly. That's what I was trying to do. But it's fine, I have healing. I have healing items. However, this place looks rather suspicious. Yeah, it's a window into the void. The Book of Ism the Enchanter, Necromancer of the Autumnal Spire. May the hand uninitiated wither, may the flesh uncalled be devoured, may the peer eye uninvited darken. It is I, Ism of the Autumnal Spire, Necromancer and Enchanter of Ability, who has written these pages. Praise Ism, for to him is bidden the Book of Elsewhere, that he seeks and that he will find, that is written. Then will Ism call the Striding Stalker, who will recover the book, and place it under dream, under earth. The players of the lyre will guard the approach, but so will Ism's dream will, that is also written. Only fire will deter the players of the lyre from the task, but none will deter Ism. For to him is the book of elsewhere bidden, and he guards it with his life. Seek not Ism in the morning, for his house may not be perceived at all, and seek him not in the evening, for he slays and devours as he will. Ism is Ism, and none may say him nay. Uh, if you don't mind, I have some uh, loot that needs to steal in here. Only fire will deter them, huh? So what did that book say? Where is it? Oh, I didn't actually pick it up. Um, there's another mask there. Which I guess I can reach from the shelf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the book of elsewhere that he seeks. Is that the book I'm looking for? Place it under dream, under earth. Players of the liar will guard the approach. Well, I need to go up those stairs. Let's try and be quiet here, not to upset the poor fellow there any more than need be. Ah, I thought it wasn't functioning, it was merely quiet. some uh, room brush problems there it seems. Well he doesn't have the same uh, sneaky setup as the other necromancer. Oh. Hang on. This is not a door. What is... Not like hiding a switch here or anything. What is the point of this room? Am I, am I, am I missing something? Am I? Hmm. Is 
Just making a hard save here. That way I can come back later if I uh, discover a reason to. But um, So, does he have the book there? I mean, it would seem a very obvious candidate for having the book, but uh, as far as I can tell, there was nothing there, but then this seems to be the end. Apart from ground level, this seems to be the end of where I can go in this area. Maybe I should check ground level. Is there a... Is there a place to rope down and rope back up? Everything's all stone. Carrot, aim better. I feel like I'm missing something there. That's not a door, right? Can I even break it down? Nope. Oh, stairs go the other way. Well, yes, I mean, if I come back out this way, I should be able to rope down to street level pretty easily from uh, these big wooden thing is perhaps there is nothing to be found at street level there's always a possibility And indeed seems to be a definite probability at this point. I'm missing something. I am... Um, Garrett, don't, don't scare me like that. Thank you. I am missing something important, including stairs that I can climb. All right, let's, let's go down here carefully. Right, if I, do, if I do it slowly, I don't hurt myself. I suppose I could have gone out that door and jumped across as well. So is there something about only yielding to fire, right? Play as the liar. I don't think he's talking about the zombie. I mean, I have a fire arrow now. I could certainly uh, shoot the zombie with it. But what? What? What am I supposed to do here? Or, I mean, supposed to is, of course, the wrong word. I'm... Oh, he saw me. He turned around sooner than I expected. What is the deal with this place? I mean, surely this entire place can't just be a dead end with a tiny bit of loot, right? I feel, I feel like for sure I'm missing something here. There's the whole story, 
Book of Elsewhere, yes, that's exactly the same book that Ism mentioned. Um, fled northwards, across the roof to the East Gate. So, uh, I mean, apart from the spare workshop key, the book must be here somewhere. Oh, look, he's up there. Oh, he must have been very angry. So what happens if I uh, explode him? I mean, apart from him exploding, does he drop anything important? Has that ruined my chance to get the book? I mean, he's dropped lots of body parts. Are these the players of the liar that I'm supposed to uh, shoot the f that I was supposed to shoot the fire at? These. That's not a door, right? That seems to be not a door. Is this a door or just a... Nope. Can't get there. Um, we cover the place it under dream under earth. Players of the lie will guard the approach. Only fire will deter. Well, I mean, I'm not saving just now because I may well have uh, ruined my chances. In fact, let me load so I don't have to so I don't have to worry about not saving. Oh, he's bugged. Well, To, he has to ride the elevator. Goodbye. Well, he's not going to bother me down there, is he? That means I've still got my fire arrow. I'm the dream of under earth. Like, this isn't going to do anything. And this isn't going to do anything. And this isn't going to do anything. And It's a very big uh, potion bottle you got there. Hey, what am I missing? Obviously that doesn't open. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm missing, but it seems a pretty good place to end the episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll hope you join me soon for the next episode of The Unbidden Guest.